season. The Southwest Design Programme, and we're a regional programme across the Southwest supporting small businesses to make use of professional designers. And the workshop that we're running today is in collaboration with Roberto Fraquelli. He's 3D Design, he has an office upstairs here in the Roland Levinsky building. And Roberto is running a creative thinking and innovation strategy workshop today. And we're making spaghetti bridges. And we're looking at the creative aspects of how to get businesses to embed creative thinking strategies into their businesses. And it's a very interactive day, having a lot of fun, and lots of mess, and lots of colour. How do you feel about the fact that we're not allowed to make much of a mess of the building? We're not allowed to write on the walls and... Well, then again, it's just things like that. You know, this is an art, it's supposed to be an art college, isn't it? It's just farcical, basically. And I like the building itself. I think the building itself is lovely. It's very, it's, it has enough natural light yes. in, it in order to encourage people to be thinking Good thoughts and being very creative, I think. Yeah. And it's just, well, I'm just, you know, it just seems absolutely crazy. Like our degree show next year would be an ideal space to show all our work, and there's some really nice big rooms off, off from that space that would be great, and they're just not going to be available to use, and it's just hopeless. Dare me to put my hands in here? Yeah, go. On. A hand, well, busy and a hand dryer. Uh, Wessex have uh, two parts of the company. One of them is to um, supply uh, washroom equipment um, throughout. Well, to start with 35 years ago in the southwest, now deals nationally, doing things such as um, hand dryers, uh, such as sand bins, anything that, uh, 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 to do with that. It doesn't really seem to matter because of the way the place was designed or got together. From the very conception, it was conceived that that space down there was not going to be used by students. It doesn't really seem ideal that we've got a building which is supposed to be part of the university, designed for us students to use, and yet a lot of it, you know, this whole massive space down there is all out of bounds. But it's just like an area that we pass through. The part that uh, I deal with, which again, then's the reason I couldn't give you too much technical information about this. Um, we also do a range of uh, security, <laughs> camera systems, door entry. Not in this one, to be honest with you. It's, um, I'm relatively new to the organisation, and I did notice it's uh, uh, not a customer that we have at present, but it's on my it list, so information is being sent out. It list, it list, it list. Uh, again, it's uh, yeah, that internal side of things. I'm assuming because um, relatively new building, uh, it could have actually, a lot of it could have been installed with the initial when it was being built. 